Hey, Jeff Love here from Alternative Heating and Supplies. I just did how does a plate exchanger work. I decided to do another quick video on how to clean a plate exchanger. So again, I get those questions, you know, how do I clean my plate exchanger? It's getting clogged up. Um, I hear a lot of minerals and uh, lime deposits and all these things that go on inside these plate exchangers. And as you can see, the, the spacing in between the plates are very small and with the waffle design, um, it's hard to get to these things. So what I've seen and what I've heard is things like that you take them off, you fill them up with uh, a, 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 a muratic acid or a breakdown of that and adding water to it to, to soften it so it's not so aggressive. Uh, I've heard everything from uh, white vinegar and things like that. Now I do sell a product called CF205 that is what I call flush. Now the flush is designed to help and assist to clean. It doesn't eat the mineral deposits. It just helps eat the sediment and stuff like that that get caught up into the plate exchangers. And it, it, it provides a service to the inside of a boiler as well. However, to really clean a plate exchanger, you need to take it to a professional. And those are the people that do like cleaning of radiators and everything else. Uh, but the times and the things that I've heard about that, it doesn't make it completely effective. They don't clean it 100%. You spend $100, $150 to have them somewhat cleaned and their life expectancy is half of what it was originally. So where I'm going with this, it's just easier and cheaper to buy a new plate exchanger and dispose of it. If your water has lime and, and mineral deposits and things like that, maybe work on spending the money towards updating your water system of softeners and anything else that might apply to your application and your water system at home to provide more life to the plate exchangers. And here's another little trick what I do is people who have very bad water, including myself, I have a lot of minerals in my water. Instead of buying a, a 10 plate, definitely upgrade to a 20 because you, again, you have more surface area, more area for that buildup to happen, which gives you a longer life. And maybe even add to a larger plate if you want, maybe a 30 or 40. Uh, besides that, that's extravagant, uh, those plates. But my 20 plate's been up and running in my hard environment for about 10 years and I'm still running effectively. So I hope this helps. And again, a lot of these variables are different, but again, I'm just here trying to give some advice and tips on how this stuff works. Um, but anyways, I hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did and hit the subscribe button. There it goes again. And hit the subscribe button at the bottom. Wow, subscribe. So give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and hit the subscribe button at the bottom. And I keep on putting up these videos and I try to put up short ones. Uh, to not make them as painful as they have to be. Thank you and have a good heating season. Thanks.